is happening guys? Huh y'all? I got a different video today. I mean it's still a it's still a alcoholic beverage, but it's different. But before we get into the video, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, you like what you see, you want to see more, hit that subscribe button, that bell for notifications of new videos. Let's get into it, man. Today I got a hard kombucha. So this is like my second hard kombucha ever. I did do a video, my first one, I honestly forgot what it's called, but it was tasty, man. It was tasty, it was different. And honestly, I just was looking into hard kombucha just because, I mean, I like kombucha and all that. I don't drink it very often because I think it gets me bloated. But I was just looking, I was like, is hard kombucha a thing? I mean, just as a, I guess, healthy alternative to beer. And surprisingly enough, it is. And even more surprisingly to me, uh, or surprising to me, the alcohol by volume is fairly high, man. Like, it's not like a 10% hard kombucha or anything like that, but it is decently high. So the last one I had was 6.5% ABV. This one's a 6% ABV hard kombucha, man. It's called uh, Acai Berry by June Shine. I like the can too, man. There's something about the can that's like very, I don't know, like pastel colors. Like everything just works really well. It's like relaxing in a way, you know? And then it says what's inside. I think that's like what they put in the kombucha. <laughs> And I sound nasally because allergies, man. Uh, acai, blueberry, honey, green tea, cane sugar, and jun kombucha. I'm assuming that's June Shine's uh, own kombucha like thing they have. And June Shine is out of San Diego, California, man. Let's get this into a glass, see what it looks like, smells like, and tastes like. And I actually got kind of catfished by this, man. So it says calories on here, 107. And total sugar is three grams, which I think it's quite a bit more than my last can, but it's actually, the serving size is eight ounces and there's, you know, a 16 ounce can, so you got two of these in there, uh, two servings in here, so that's actually 214 calories and six grams of sugar, which I feel like is a shit ton, man, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm sure this is slightly, slightly healthier than, uh, than beer. I don't know if I need to roll this, but I'm gonna roll it anyways. My last can of hard kombucha, I'm pretty sure I had to roll that, so I did. And I'm gonna roll this one. And I learned that, you know, every, people go like this, right? When you shake up a soda or anything carbonated, you go like this. I actually learned that you should be flicking the side of the can because it uh, detaches the carbonation bubbles to the side of the can. And those carbonation bubbles are actually what makes the drink explode when you open it so watch me do it and then it just like explodes everywhere anyways hoping not so let's hopefully get, nope there we go we're pretty sure. i'm not sure rolling it was going to do anything anyways but uh you know i just don't want kombucha everywhere Darn. look at the color man it got that like acai color and uh i'm pretty sure there's not gonna be any head on here just because it's like hard kombuchas so like self-serve water basically um, but the color, man, color, a lot, a lot of carbonation bubbles, by the way, I mean, as expected, right? The color, like I said, man, it reminds me of like this acai type color. I mean, there's like a strawberry, cherry, redness to it. It's not like a deep red, it's just this nice, nice, I don't know, man. When you just think of like a strawberry syrup, strawberry drink, any strawberry drink, um, it's that red. I think it's showing up on camera maybe slightly darker than it is in person. But then I also have sunlight coming through the window, so... I mean, it looks like a great, great color, man. It looks like it could be a Berlin of Ice or, you know, some sour ale or something. But it's hard kombucha. Let's get the aroma. This smells sour, man. Apple cider vinegar. Um, definitely berry. There's a berry mixture in there. I would say blueberry, strawberry. It's just a mixture of berries. It smells slightly sweet, but sour at the same time. It smells like a sour beer, honestly. But more apple cider vinegar than most beers like a lot of like flanders style red ale or you know flanders style red ale or um any sour beer um they, they or some creeks you know it smells like that i get cherries in here it smells you know like this but not that super um apple cider vinegar vinegary smell uh, this has a lot of that i mean i'm not against it i also take shots of apple cider vinegar i don't enjoy but i don't absolutely hate it I know some people do. I mean, it just smells refreshing, it smells sour, it smells tart, it smells like apple cider vinegar, very manly. 
you guys smell acai? No? Well, I honestly don't even know what acai smells like. So I couldn't tell you. Could, could be smelling that. But anyways, man, let's get into it. Cheers. Yeah. Not as tart on the palate as I expected it to be. The aroma, with, even with my you know clogged up stuffy nose, I was able to smell a lot of that apple cider vinegar tartness and just, I thought it was gonna be super sour, man. It is not. That's probably where the sugar comes into play, right? Six grams of sugar. It does have a tartness to it, but it, it's like, once it hits your palate, it's sour, and then it like almost immediately gets washed away by this nice, I, I would say a good comparison of this is like Propel Water from Gatorade, right? If you ever have Propel Water, it's not like super sweet or anything like that. At least what from what I remember, it is not super sweet or anything like that, but it does have that nice berry flavor, whatever flavor you got, right? So imagine the mixed berry flavor, which is a berry flavor. Of propel water that's basically what I get almost immediately after it hits my tongue after I get that uh, initial tartness it's pretty much propel uh, berry water it's just it's very very drinkable man yeah you get very little of that apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar taste very little tartness it's just I'm not gonna lie it's mad refreshing it does not taste like it should be 6% ABV. The other one didn't even taste like it had um, six and a half in it, which is only half a percent. I get that. You wouldn't be able to tell this is hard kombucha, man. Like this, if you just told me this is kombucha, I'd be like, all right, it's kombucha. But then that's the thing with uh, kombucha, in my opinion, man. You can't sit, like I can sit and drink, you know, three, four beers. I mean, probably definitely should not drink four beers in one sitting for pints, right? But you know, we all do it, all, you know, not all the time, but we all done it before multiple times. I don't think I can sit there and drink even two cans of this, man. Like it's, it's kombucha, dude. It's very carbonated. It has like probiotics and all that shit in it. I feel like, like I said before to it, like kombucha makes me bloated. So if I drink two of these, I will probably will be extremely bloated and Definitely won't have a buzz. Um, probably, I don't think. 6%, you have two pints. You could get a buzz going, man. But I don't think I can do it. Like, it's just, it would, I would feel like crap the next morning, probably, just being super bloated and all that. But I wanted to try something new, man. I, I enjoy kombucha, and, you know, kombucha with alcohol just makes it that much better. It doesn't taste like a mixed drink or anything like that, although I'm not against that. I would probably experiment with kombucha or kombucha with you know some liquor in the future or whatever but you know this is just like something different something different something not beer it's not that sweet there's a sweetness to it but not that sweet at all very very drinkable very crushable especially for the nice days that we're having man for the next days that are coming and having at the same time it's supposed to be like 80 this weekend which is ridiculous because it was like 50 degrees last week so Hey man, I'm not complaining. Love the warm weather. Anyways, this was June Shines Acai Hard Kombucha coming at 6% ABV. You guys like the video? Please give it a thumbs up. I mean, give me comments below, man. What do you think about Hard Kombucha, Kombucha, yeah, or anything? Any anything that's not beer related but has alcohol? You know, I I'm out here, man, trying to experiment, trying to explore new things. So you know, give me some ideas. Anyways, man, uh, as always, thank you for watching. And um, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. Cheers.